We're just a bunch of kids who's never grown up. We collect military vehicles, and our, our major interest is in the World War II vehicles. Most of these Jeeps are mostly original. Um, what you're looking at here, the, the engine and drivetrain of this Jeep was built in 1942. It's the same one that was put together back then. Uh, some of these bodies are original, mine is not. But as you can see, they were well built. And they did things right. These Jeeps are still moving down the road. 70 years later, we drove most of these vehicles up from Pittsburgh yesterday on a 50-some, on a 60-some mile trip uh, to get here. And they all run fine. They don't run at the high speeds on the highways, but they, they work great. And these photographs were taken at Fort Indian Town Gap in uh, Pennsylvania. The vehicle I'm in is actually a CJ 2A. It's a 1948. And uh, unlike the military vehicles here, this vehicle was. Uh, um, equipped as it would have been uh, as part of the Marshall Plan for the reconstruction of Europe after the war. And this whole setup is a press uh, base camp for the, to support newspaper reporters and uh, wire service reporters who went over to uh, Europe and especially France after the war and so they could uh, cover the reconstruction of uh, Europe and file their uh, stories back home to the local newspapers. The Jeep is marked as part of the Marshall Plan. Um, it surprised me that we actually sent civilian vehicles over um, when there were so many military vehicles, but there's actually photographs of them unloading CJ vehicles over in uh, Europe after the war, and uh, this would be equipped just like one of them.